You're back on headlines today just in time for some breaking video images of an encounter that has shattered the national capital and the Delhi police. And those images, first and exclusive right here on headlines today. Images of the Delhi encounter. It happened in West Delhi a couple of days ago, caught on CCTV cameras. You're going to see these images nowhere else but right here on headlines today. These images, we have to warn you, might be disturbing. We advise your discretion. Headlines today has now obtained this exclusive cctv video clip of the encounter where alleged gangster manoj vashisht was gunned down by a group of delhi police special cell personnel in a delhi restaurant in west delhi as a matter of fact it was a sagar ratna restaurant just a couple of days ago these images were captured when a bullet hit manoj on his head killing him on the spot According to police records, Manoj Vashisht had seven cases of cheating against him. He was a proclaimed offender, but there were no causes of any heinous crimes like murder, robbery, assault or rape against him. The police say Vashisht was carrying a pistol with which he fired at them and then the exchange took place. They said Vashisht had been asked to surrender, but he actually opened fire at an inspector, prompting a sub-inspector to open fire in self-defense. A man wanted in several cheating cases was killed in an encounter with the Delhi police at this particular restaurant. Take a look at these images very closely. We've had to blur parts of them because they are disturbing. Exclusive first images right here on headlines today of the melee that took place at the Sagar Ratna restaurant in West Delhi's Rajinder Nagar just as the bullets flew and Manoj Vashisht was hit in the head by a bullet fired by a Delhi police special cell sub-inspector and this was in response to Manoj Vashisht whipping out his pistol and firing at the police. He's been wanted in several different cases and this was the result of what happened when he pulled out his pistol and fired at the police. A popular restaurant in Rajinder Nagar, not very far from central Delhi. This is a part of very highly populated West Delhi a popular restaurant where several families go every single day. It's called Sagar Ratna, it's in Rajinder Nagar and that is the site of this terrifying encounter by the Delhi police special cell. These images capture for the first time. A moment ago we brought you the first photographs of the incident and now we've got you these first exclusive video pictures of the actual firing that took place. In a moment from now, I'm going to get Gaurav Savant in to take you in detail through these images and explain in detail precisely what's happening on your screen. I also have with me Atir Khan. I want to get in a quick word from Atir quickly before I go to Gaurav. Atir, what's the latest on this particular investigation? These images painting a very, very scary picture of what happened when the bullets flew at that restaurant? Well, indeed, it must be a traumatic experience for uh, the people who were present inside the restaurant. They were uh, the staff of uh, the restaurant, 10, 15 persons were there, then another, uh, you know, around 20 persons who were there uh, for, uh, you know, for dinner they also uh, suffered. So this is a case where the police is trying to justify its action that it uh, wasn't the police which uh, uh, first opened fire, it was uh, uh, the accused who first, uh, uh, when the police approached him and said that he should accompany them because he's needed an investigation, it was then that it, it was a knee-jerk reaction on his part and he brandished his pis pistol, 0.32 bow pistol and he, uh, when the other constable tried to overpower him, it was then that he fired a shot. Yeah. Uh, it did not hit anybody, but then it was enough provocation because the another sub-inspector who was at some distance saw that one of the police team members had fell down. So yes. he was under the impression that the, that the police team member has been shot. It was then that he fired in retaliation. This is what the police has to say, but the magisterial inquiry is going to clarify many facts. Shiv. This is this is scary stuff. I've, uh, uh, I've I actually personally been to this restaurant, Atir. This is in Rajinder Nagar. Thousands of customers every single day come to this particular restaurant. That is why there's a sense of disbelief right across the national capital that an encounter of this kind would take place right in the middle of a restaurant. But did the police really have a choice when they were fired upon? Gaurav Savant's with me. He's got these pictures with him. He's going to take you through them. Horrifying stuff, Gaurav.
This indeed is, in fact, uh, the crime team and I, we've been going over these pictures, we've been poring over these pictures, and this tells you the story. The Delhi police say they opened fire in self-defense. What is the Delhi police saying? Look, at, initially it was all calm. The Delhi police, they've, they've taken over some of the tables on the sides. Vashish is sitting on one of these tables. A Delhi police undercover officer approaches him puts his hand on his shoulder, asks him to accompany him and suddenly, according to Delhi police, this man gets up, whips out a pistol and then all hell breaks loose because the tables start falling on the adjacent table. There are some patrons, they move aside and exactly at that point of time, there's a shot that's heard. According to the Delhi police, Vashish pulls out a pistol, there's a shot that's fired and in self-defense, another head constable, you see these three men have fallen, this constable then runs up, there's another constable who comes from this side and then there's a firing that takes place. We've seen these images even in slow motion. This is now when everything is quiet, you'll see a Delhi police sub-inspector, he's now entering this Sagar Ratna restaurant in Rajendra Nagar. So according to the Delhi police, they wanted to take away this man for questioning, but he whipped out a weapon that weapon was discharged whether it's accidental discharge or not only an inquiry will be able to relieve uh, reveal and that is when this firing takes place and the under the accused in this case is killed it's just uh, terrifying Gaurav uh, you know just imagine the image the you know the beginning parts of this particular video if I'd like to draw our viewers attention to the people sitting there calmly you know having their having having something to eat at this restaurant you know, nothing completely out of the ordinary and suddenly all hell completely breaks loose. A gunshot fire is heard. The police, as you said, Gaurav, are seen entering. The sub-inspector opens fire and then those pictures of Manoj Vashish's slumped body. He took a bullet to the head and he was killed instantly in that attack. It's become one of the most controversial encounters to take place within Delhi except this didn't take place in some hinterland. It didn't take place in the wooded parts of Delhi. It didn't take place in, uh, in, in, in some isolated area. This took place, it doesn't get more central than this. It doesn't get more ordinary than this. A restaurant frequented by people, and that's where the accused gangster Manoj Vashisht met his end at the hands of a sub-inspector's pistol. A bullet went straight through his head. We've also got still photographs, as you can see on your screens right now, of the minutes right after this terrifying encounter at Delhi's Rajendra Nagar. On the right-hand side of your screens are the only images available. Our crime reporters have accessed those pictures. You can see Manoj Vashish's pistol, circled in red as well, lying next to his, uh, his lifeless body right after this encounter actually took place. I want to remind our viewers once again, these images are disturbing, but this is the top story in Delhi right now. A story that has terrified people as much as it has shocked the security establishment itself. A gangster sitting calmly and having a meal in a Delhi restaurant meets his end moments after the police walk in. He had five serious cases against him, none of them for heinous crimes like murder or robbery, but for fraud and other cases. The simple fact, and I want to bring Gaurav back in on this, is that Manoj Vashisht, at least as per police information so far, is that he opened fire first. They were there to perhaps catch him and take him away. Maybe it wasn't meant to be an encounter, Gaurav, but once that first bullet was fired, it became an encounter. It absolutely did. In fact, a magisterial inquiry has been ordered and the magistrate will go through all these weapons. To what my sources are also saying that a forensic examination of all the weapons in the premises will take place. Uh, the weapon that was used, allegedly used by Manoj Vashisht, was it actually used to discharge a bullet that will have to be examined and should that theory be true then the police have a stronger case because if the accused did open fire whether in self-defense or not if somebody opened fire at the law enforcement agency and then you can see that there was a melee everyone's having a peaceful meal here whether they're having the dosas or their idlis at Sagar Ratna they're having a peaceful meal look at that picture that's when the sub-inspector enters the second sub-inspector here in this picture he puts his hand on Manoj and suddenly all hell breaks loose uh, patrons run to a side there's a bullet that's hurt the other these are undercover police officers this officer takes out a weapon uh, he's still uh, you know holding back 
two other officers go in so all of it very very dramatic at that point of time at the sagar ratna restaurant in rajendra nagar yeah. in the heart of central delhi shiv heart of central delhi doesn't get more scary than this hits right home for people watching this for people who live in delhi for people who visited delhi and are aware of where rajendra nagar is it doesn't get more ordinary and every day this isn't a vvip area this is a place where thousands of people live this is a where place a restaurant where thousands of people eat every day at like i said i've been there myself atir khan is still with us a fresh controversy has broken out now because of the allegations and the circumstances surrounding this particular encounter atir khan is still with us atir manoj vashish's widow has come out to say that this was a fake encounter and that there is foul play involved well yes uh, that is her allegation but uh, you know the cctv footage says it all and it has also been corroborated by one of the uh, main eyewitnesses uh, account who had come to meet uh, manoj at that spot the meeting was happening uh, she was accompanied by another uh, uh, two ladies were uh, uh, present there there was another person uh, at the same table but uh, what is surprising is that uh, shift this weapon 0.32 bow pistol which uh, manoj was carrying was uh, uh, was illegal the reason being that he had a license for merit and he was not supposed to take that weapon out of merit it was confined for merit but more importantly the license had expired so it was totally illegal weapon which he was carrying with him and he took a uh, you know all of a sudden he took took out his uh, pistol which surprised uh, the the police raiding team uh, which had to you know act in retaliation that's what uh, is uh, you know apparent from uh, the cctv footage also there's a melee uh, but then delhi police has also ordered its internal inquiry now uh, remember the victims family met home minister today early in the morning and he they were assured by the home minister that a fair inquiry would be carried down following which a sit has been yes. formed in which senior officers have been deputed to look into this incident and submit their report well it has all the ingredients of becoming uh, the next most intriguing encounter uh, in the uh, in the fairly patchy history of crime encounters in the national capital and elsewhere in our big cities let's get uh, some of the reactions we've got in from the family of the killed gangster as well उनको पूर्ण रूप से हमदर्दी उन्होंने जताई इस पे जो भी हुआ है उसका उन्होंने भी कहा है कि जांच होनी चाहिए जो चीज सही है वो सामने आनी चाहिए और हम इसके फेवर क्योंकि दिल्ली पुलिस तो इनके अंडर में आती नहीं है जहाँ जहाँ जो ये थोड़ी चीजों में मदद कर सकते हैं कहीं उनको लेटर लिख सकते हैं जो भी कर सकते हैं हमने कहा उसमें आप हमारी मदद करें क्योंकि वहाँ से भी कल तक के लिए कोई आश्वासन मिला नहीं था गृह मंत्री के बाहर होने के कारण से तो हम तो हर कोशिश कर रहे हैं के देश के अंदर जितनी भी पार्टी हैं उनके सब के आला कमानों से देश में जितने सामाजिक संगठन हैं जितनी संस्थाएं हैं कि वो हमारी मदद करें Gaurav Nathir will continue bringing us more of those images telling you more about that story and getting you more context about why this is such a disturbing story we've been getting calls emails messages from across the national capital about how this is the single most terrifying story in the last 10 years perhaps in the national capital that's our top story